Hey Capricorn, welcome back. Just give me a minute, I'm trying to so you can see the cards. Welcome back. This is going to be a timeless love reading and it's going to be the love that's coming towards you in 2023. We're going to go with single for single people. Um, but for those of you that are missing someone in separation from someone, that doesn't mean that a new connection is not going to come into your life. Remember my motto, my motto, what's truly meant for you will never pass you by. For those of you that are interested in the giveaway this January, um, it's going to be two free readings between 15 to 25, 30 minutes long. You just need to be a subscriber. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are new. And I'm so welcome. I'm so grateful to welcome you here. Um, leave a snowflake emoji for new and returning subscribers. Leave a snowflake emoji in every comment section of the reading that you watch, each reading up until the end of January. I'll randomly choose two people. I am in the process of, I have reached out to all the December people, those four people, and I'm in the process of getting those readings done. So now we're going to move on to January. Manifest it, love. When it's coming towards you, you have manifested and run away love. See what I mean? For some of you, somebody that you might have had a connection with that was very brief, you know, went separate paths. But this love that's coming towards you, you've manifested. All right, Capricorn. Right after this, I'm going to move on to the full moon readings and just, just be conscious, be aware that we are in that Mercury and retrograde, okay? Lessons that you've learned, Capricorn, from past relationships. Four of Wands, to never lose your stability. To keep that, to keep yourself grounded. To always remain one with yourself. Never lose yourself in any situation. Your stability, what you have worked so hard for. But with the four of wands showing up, I do feel it could be a fire sign coming towards you. And one that you can grow with, a soulmate connection. What are you looking for, Capricorn, in terms of love? What are you looking for in terms of love? Look. Here's the ending. The transformation. You want someone who, um, who has been through those endings. Who has learned lessons from those endings that they've been through. In, like That they've been through separately. And allow that transformation to happen within themselves. I do feel it could be a younger fire sign taking that leap of faith towards you, seeing growth within you. They might have just come from an ending with someone. But you want to know that whatever um, obstacles that they've been through, whatever burdens, you know, that they're going to put the fight in. They're going to... They, they're still going to show up no matter what the difficulty is, no matter what the burden is. That is what you want. You want somebody that's going to be very passionate for you. That um, that free spirit kind of like I'll jump, you jump kind of connection. And I feel knowing that they've been through a transformation within love, just like you have. Is very it will be very very settling for you. I do feel it's going to be a soulmate connection. All right, spirit. What are Capricorn's heart's desires? Where did that card go? Hold on, let me get it. Just fell out. Your heart's desires are to break free. Anything that had you feeling stuck, it's to release the past, release what didn't work, release what you thought your life was going to look like in terms of love, 
Just because you had that thought doesn't mean that that's what your plan was for this lifetime. So release whatever it is that has you feeling stuck. You want something more grounded, more abundant, where you're not going to be in your head about it. What is the personality of the person coming towards Capricorn? See what I mean? They've been through some hard times. So they may feel like, they may feel like, they may seem like the personality is like lost hope. You know, um, they could have been dating online for a while and just never really clicked with anybody. They could have been ghosted. Um, they could have had those tough times in love where, you know, people weren't that nice to them. They weren't in their best, you know, that they gave them broken promises. But they're going to be ready to take action towards you. They're going to be ready to be fast moving. They want to get past feeling left out in the cold. They want that restored hope. And even though they may be coming from something very hard, they're still ready to proceed on. All right. What will be Capricorn's first impression of this person? Capricorn's first impression of this person. You're going to see them as very grounded. Somebody that's very grounded and very trustworthy. They could come from money. You know, they may have that legacy of money. They may have inherited money, but they have that stability to offer you. They have that long term to offer you. Could be a Virgo. But you are going to see within them the honesty, the trust. You're also going to see long term with this person. You're going to see within this person that you could go long-term and it be a success. The person coming towards Capricorn, their first impression of Capricorn. See, they're going to see like within you that transformation that you've been through. They're going to see that um, you've also been through similar things with them as them and that you don't want that. That you want to come together with somebody and work on things. That your past, you know, anything that's been dishonest to you. Anything that's been a false, like you've been falsely led in terms of love. Like you're done with all of that. You want something healthy and something abundant. Yeah, see? You want that three of wands. You want to be out of your head and knowing that. This person coming towards you, you see a future with. And what will be the overall outcome for Capricorn and this person? Two of Wands, making that plan, progression. Taking it very slowly so that both of you remain grounded so that you don't lose yourself in this connection. Nine of coins being noticed, the fruits of your labor. It's time for you to receive Capricorn. You've done the work. You've taken care of yourself. You've been through that transformation. You've allowed yourself to heal from anything that's been painful. They are going to be intrigued by your strength. And what is coming towards you is all because you walked away from what seemed wrong. You distanced yourself from what was hidden, from what was dishonest, from what was shady, and you're following your heart. You know that there is better out there for you, and that's why you walked away from those things that aren't in your best interest. And that's why this storybook ending is coming towards you. All right, let's get additional clarity. Capricorn and this person for manifested love I got to tell you the things that you've thought about in your in a connection in your ideal connection 
for this lifetime. What you thought they'd look like, what they'd smell like, what they would do for um, a career or for employment. You know, where you wanted to live and be with the person. Like, this is all coming true for you. Everything that you thought of thought about is now being manifested and I've got to tell you with runaway love this may be someone that you've already dealt with briefly but you went on two different paths and you reconnect eight of wands incoming communication the progression no more holding back the two of you are going to connect and be all in you know, you're going to be free to say whatever you want to say to each other. It's going to be that heart-to-heart -heart communication. And it's going to be a kindred spirit. A divine union. Wow, past life with one another. And there is that stability. That ace of wands and the ace of chalices. All because you've done the work. See what I mean? This is coming to fruition because you've done the work, Capricorn. You've planted those seeds. You've manifested exactly what you want. And that is why it's coming towards you in 2023. I do feel for some of you it's going to be a past life connection. You're going to instinctively know that this is different. It's going to feel like a soulmate. Like you just get one another. And it's going to be very grounded and very loving. Amazing. Amazing. Alright, let's get characteristics. I'm going to do a card of timing and what signs they may be. And then I'll pull from my other deck. February. Very well. Could be meeting in February. Very dark skin. Could be a Leo. That was not supposed to be there. It was supposed to be in the other deck. So it's very synchronistic. Remember I said I feel like it could be a fire sign. Could be a Leo. Athletic build, average height, hazel eyes, you may not meet them until November, shoulder length hair, tattoos, very dark skin and darker skin. Now we have October and November. So in the fall, for some of you, you could be meeting this person. They could have noticeable scars. And then dark hair, dark eyes. All right, along with Leo, let's see what sign they could be. Sagittarius, more fire energy. September. It's not. This wasn't supposed to be here neither. See, these are definitely synchronistic when they're not supposed to be. So we have September, October, November. I really feel like for some of you, it's going to be in the fall season. Scorpio, I'll put that right there, and one more, Libra. All right, well, let's do a card of timing, guys, for Capricorn to meet their person in 2023, within three months. So for some of you, like I said, it's going to be February, but we're in January, February, March, April, Let's see what else. Anything else? All right. And then in the autumn, just like I said, in the fall. All right. Let's get a few more clarifiers. Could be a place of when. The timing. For Capricorn. But I feel the masculine energy is going to make the move. Because we have you or the querent person you know. Girlfriend, fiance, spouse, boyfriend, fiance, spouse, love interest, excuse me. Yep. Divine intervention, double rainbows. Pay attention to rainbows, guys, from here on out. When you see this, pay attention to your environment. They could be standing right next to you. Serendipity and it's incoming communication. It's like the two of you are going to ride off into the sunset together. Look at this love romance. Two hearts that like just spark that connection. And you've manifested this. You wondered, is it possible that I could have this type of love in my life in Capricorn? It is. 
calm, cool, and collected is going to be their personality. And there's the sun. Look at that. This connection is going to change everything. Very passionate, very loving, very abundant. And it's all because you've done the work along your journey. All right, Capricorn, so go with February. Doesn't happen, it'll be within three months, so by April. And then others, it's, it's going to be in the autumn because we have September, October, and November, which is the best time, I feel, to fall in love. And I have no Capricorn in my chart. And I do feel like it's for some, it's going to be a soulmate connection. All right, love and light, guys. Happy 2023, and I will be back for many more readings. Stay safe.